Well, we've come a long way so far. This is the last step that we're going to take before we go into our final project. So for this chapter project, we're going to get our project template set up and ready to print and create a few layout tabs for us. So let's open up our project template file. And I'm going to save as so that I keep that one for you the way it looked in that chapter and so that we have something to start with in this chapter. I'm going to overwrite my file that I already have. So this way you'll have something to start with and we will both be working from exactly the same file. I'm also going to save a final version of this so you have a before and after of what it's going to look like. So we already have a paper space tab in here and it has a title block border in it with the viewport and that's great. We're going to leave that because we'll use it. But I want to rename this. This says it's a D size layout, but that's okay. I'm going to rename it and call it Dimension. Now let's do a page setup. I'm going to make a page setup for a PDF. So we right click on the paper space tab, go to the page setup manager. There are already a few page setups in here, but none that go to PDF. So that's what I want to make. So I select the new button and I'm going to call it PDF since that's what it's going to do. Click OK. Now for my printer name, I need to make sure I select the DWG to PDF PC3 file. And since this is a D size drawing, I'm going to leave it at the 24 by 36 setting. I'm going to set the plot area to extents, one to one, click my preview, and that looks perfect. The entire border is inside there. So right click, exit, click OK. I'm going to set this one current. I'm going to take a risk here, and if you get lost, that's okay. But I'm going to make a page set up for my printer. That way, we'll kind of go through the process for you so you can set it up to your printer as well. I'm clicking New, and I'm going to call this one Print. Click OK. Now, instead of the DWG to PDF, I'm going to scroll up until I find my printer. That's my printer right here. This is where it will be different for you. Make sure you pick your printer, whatever it might be. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can kind of skip over this part. Now I got a warning because my paper size that my printer can print to is too small for my current settings. I'm going to set it to a letter size. Now I do want it set to extents so that I get all of the line work. I do want it centered, but instead of a one-to-one -one scale, I'm going to set it to fit to paper. I know it's going to be out of scale. That's okay. I just want to fill up the paper as much as I possibly can. Select my preview, and it's all in there. Right click, exit, click OK. I'm not going to set that as my default. I'm setting my PDF as my default. Now that I'm finished, clicking close. Now we're ready to start our drawing, and we're ready to print when we're finished. And if I need to make new layout tabs or paper space tabs in the future when I go to work on my drawings, I can, and I already have two different page setups ready to go to print them out. I'll just have to apply it to it. And now we're ready. So we've gone through and we've created a file. We have a title block in here that we can use and fill out. We have layers set up, dimension styles, text styles. We have a page set up so we're ready to print and ready to go. All we need to do now is to create our model.